still on here? You still use this? Hello? Hello? You know, I I didn't use this anymore, but then he was like, Mike sent you Marco Polo, and I was like, yeah, right. So I'm back for you and whoever else. Yeah, same. I've been I've been not using it for a while, uh, especially since they introduced the whole plus thing. Couldn't even fast forward. But then Paul Wainwright, he got like a family deal, and he gave got me in on it for like twenty bucks instead of sixty. And I was like, alright, as long as I can fast forward to myself too. I can't listen to myself talk. I can't listen to myself talk. Unless it's on like two or three times speed. I did not know that fast forwarding through people was a thing, and I feel like that would be <laughs> a useful tool. There should be a little two times icon down at the bottom left when you're watching the video. Is the button even there, or do they hide that feature now? It is exactly where you said it was. Honestly, I just like don't pay a lot of attention to like things that apps can do. They're like, here is its function, and I'm like, great, I'm an old man. There's a unicorn icon? I'm gonna push it. I don't know what it does. Oh, 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 game changer. Oh. Now you can do the helium voice. Now you can do the helium voice. Black and white helium voice. Helium voice. I'm trying out the macho voice. And I bet it's just deeper. And I hate that it's gendered like that. Boo, boo, doo, doo, boo. Because the balloon's not gender. Oh, now you sound like that character in Ready Player One who is a girl whose avatar is a boy. Gender, gender, gender. Ooh, now I'm a robot. They determined a gender because it isn't real. Gender, 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 gender. gender. Although, one of the many projects that I'm like, if I had avatars that I could just like send off to do all that research would be about the presentation of gender in robots, like representations of robots, like when a robot is gendered, like Rosie on the Jetsons, gendered a particular way. She's a housekeeper. Uh, dare I say Gort, gendered in a particular way? Mm, controversial? I don't know. Man, I had to look up Gort. I'm so ashamed. I've never seen any of the day the Earth stood. Any of the days that the Earth stood still. I never saw any of those days. Um, but yeah, Hal is definitely that guy. Fucking Hal. Ugh. Yeah, fuck that guy. Gort is like, like, don't be embarrassed about that. I was like, for some reason that was the one in my mind, but I was like, why this? Why is this the robot that comes to mind? I don't know. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. Even with his like deep soothing, but ooh, you could get into the like Fassbender robots. Do we count them as robots in all of the various, um, you know, like alien follow-ups? I forget what they're all called, except like Alien 14, Fassbender on Fassbender action. I love Alien 14, Fassbender on Fassbender. I love that. I have a covenant with that movie. It, it is my Prometheus. Is this what our podcast episode is about? Or is it music? Can it be Can it be all of those? Because I would listen to that podcast. Can we talk about robots? And can we talk about Fassbender on Fassbender? Because that is the thing that stands out about that movie. Fassbender on Fassbender. Also, I think he had a flute in that movie. Also, let's make that podcast. Also, let's talk about music on our podcast. And just do um, Into the Woods deep cuts. Beans, beans, nothing but beans. But have you seen Raised by Wolves? Because there are very, I mean, that is a very explicit gender issues. It's Ridley Scott produced adjacent. I'm not sure how much Ridley had to do with it, but it's got, it's got Ridley's name on it. HBO, Mother and Father. I have not seen this gender and robot this is why i needed a full like separate avatar to go do it because i feel like i started to do it one time that research and i was like there are so many robots who has time for all of these robots and the things that jumped to mind to me were all the like sex robots <laughs> because that's what i was the like fembots with their boob guns and like her plus do we count ai as robots do we count? What do we count? Was what is it? What what is it? I think so. I think there's a range of you know robotic um, consciousness, just like there is a, just that like there's a spectrum of gender. But also, just to circle back, yes, he did have a flute. <laughs> like music was his special power. I forgot about that.
music and robots and gender. I, yes. See, it's all, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Also, there has to be, I feel like people tap into that, like, music is the universal language thing a lot. I'm thinking of Close Encounters with the little, like, beep, beep, beep. I don't remember the tune, but, like, that that was a thing. And so, like, yeah, music and gender and robots and beans and nothing but beans. Do you have HBO? Because Raised by Wolves, there is the, the, the female mother robot is, like, some kind of siren bot. See? Siren bot? powerful voices in lady robots that's interesting that's interesting would a gendered male robot be given such a thing because lady villains in every sense are always given like lady things like late like like that or like poison or like lady weapons and it's like a big deal when like ladies just like punch and do like dude fighting stuff hmm Hmm. We gotta save some of it for the podcast. Dude bots get like swords and grinder grinder arms and tank treads and uh, penises. They do. This is again another like I don't know another avatar, but just like another train of thought was like um, when I realized that like in watching movies that guns equaled penises, and so like. The older guy, like, oh, his gun is jammed. And when, like, a lady can use a gun, that it's just, like, immediately, like, whoa, she has sex, I bet. <laughs> like, it was, like, coded in that way. I, that, was, that, was a, that was an awakening that day. But we'll save this for the podcast, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Somehow. Some way. Some way. That's the show, everybody. Thanks for listening. That's a great way to end things cool we got a format we got a format <laughs> what else are, is occupying your time no pressure on this question you can take your time with oh it. man uh well my unemployment ran out in october november i don't know and so i got some jobs i got a bunch of jobs and now i'm down to one job because there was too many jobs uh so now i have one that is like reasonable and i work on call at a human services place so it works with like unhoused folks uh which is it's has so far been like exactly the right amount of like time spent there and predictability where like some days they're like you're working every week eight hours a day and sometimes they're like mm, we'll call you and then sometimes it's like can you come in right now somebody got sick so i like i like that variety so you know i got time I don't have fancy equipment or anything. I watch you guys with your fancy microphones and I'm like, I don't have a fancy microphone. But um, I do have heat and plumbing. So that's good. And your 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 phone sounds good. I mean, a lot of times you can just record on the phone and use that audio. So, I mean, you don't need a fancy microphone. Also, I like podcasts, but also I like faces. So I don't know how you do things, but faces are nice too yeah that's what i'm trying to strive to do with all of our podcasts now is like also have faces it's kind of a pain in the ass but it also i think is worth it and i wonder if like this is the podcast also like it's because the quality on marco polo is not bad and i can like download these videos uh, it's just that there's this, like, pause in between every video that I would want to remove. I would be... I haven't ever seen, like, watched a video that was, like, made up of this format of, like, Marco Polo's back and forth. And if only as an experiment would be interested in that. But then also, like, I a little bit miss the kind of organic flow of conversations and like talking to you specifically because they kind of shoot off in all directions. And sometimes it's us just going, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a minute that like, I I really enjoy the rhythm of that. And that sometimes we're like, hang on, musical theater segue. Mm, and now we're back. I don't know, I wonder. I like multiple things. We have lots of things to talk about. We could do one like this and then do one other way. I, I think I think that can be the plan. We should just talk it out in Marco Polo and plan to, plan to do the experiment. It's so interesting to me how much of your life is captured on various forms of media. I remember you talking about uh, during like when we were talking about like mind mapping like however many years ago 
And you were like, does anybody want to just like watch these like hours and days and weeks of footage? The weird kind of mind fuck it was to like be living your life, but be recording it and like thinking about how it would look as a as a as a movie and like how it would play as a movie. And like, I think about that a lot sometimes, a lot sometimes, a lot sometimes. Uh, wow. It was getting so exciting because we were making we were making these cuts of that material that were kind of interesting. And it was inspiring me to get back to that mind mapping stuff. And then it just all blew up in my face and I couldn't even look at Marco Polo for many months. I relate to this on a lot of levels. Human services people are my new favorite people because they are like incredibly generous and kind and like compassionate and empathetic and just like here for all of it. And they have amazing boundaries because they have to. Um, and I'm just like, I want to be all of you. How do you find that balance <laughs> of like, I am endlessly compassionate, except it ends right here, right here. And then the rest is for me. Like, how does anybody do that? I should have a draft of this episode ready for you uh, by nine, eight, by 9 p.m. Yeah, I'll eat and then I'll just edit it real quick. You're a madman. You practice those boundaries and you take good care of yourself and you eat and you have meetings and you eat you take time for you. This hammock is my boundary. Me and this adorable penguin uh, that smells like lavender and you can put him in the microwave and he becomes a heating pad. We we wish you, we wish you good boundaries, sir. Mm. We wish you healthy boundaries. We wish you healthy boundaries. We wish you healthy boundaries and a happy new life. <laughs>